Costanja Belisco here to show you the anatomy and schematic symbol for an end channel MOSFET or metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. The device is just about the same as an ordinary field effect transistor. I'm showing an end channel device here, but a it could just as well be a p-channel device. You just reverse all the ends and the p's and reverse the direction of this arrow in the schematic symbol. But the way that it works, current goes in the source through the channel and out the drain. Now this is assuming electron flow movement in an n-type material. In p-type material, it would be whole movement going from the source to the drain. The gate electrode produces an electric field that more or less constricts the flow of charge carriers through the channel. But it does so not through a PN junction, but rather through a capacitor-like device uh, which has an insulating or dielectric layer. In fact, the original name for this was IGFET insulated gate field effect transistor and that's still a very good name for it. The Normally in an n-channel device the source is negatively charged with respect to the drain so electrons flow this way. The gate receives a more or less negative charge. If you charge the gate more and more negatively the electric field produced by that gate will constrict the channel more and more. But the outstanding property of this device, either N-channel as shown here, or P-channel, in which the arrow here would just be reversed and this would be P-type and this would be an N-type substrate, the difference is that between this and an ordinary junction field effect transistor is that this insulating layer causes the input impedance of the device between the gate and the source to be extremely high because they're not there's no junction here charge carriers can't flow f from the channel to, to the gate and they can't flow from the gate to the channel there's no current uh, uh, drawn from the input and essentially therefore the input impedance can be considered infinity for all intents and purposes and the that, of course, makes the device useful for extremely low noise and high impedance input applications. Uh, particularly in weak signal amplifiers where you might have a short whip antenna, a uh, preamplifier can use one of these devices, a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor, the metal oxide forming the insulating or dielectric layer that prevents current flow. Another advantage of this device is that you can never have current bleed off from the channel through the gate because of this insulating or dielectric layer. The input impedance between the gate and the source of a device like this is comparable to the impedance or the resistive impedance of a small capacitor. Therefore you get a lot of characteristics that are sought after in ham radio work particularly at higher frequencies. Stan Jabalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.